Hi, my name is Alan Wadsworth. I'm the Market Development Manager for this product line for the Americas region. And today I'd like to show you how easy it is to set up a pulsed measurement on our benchtop series of SMUs. This product line actually has four different models in it, differentiated by number of measurement channels. We have both one and two channel versions, as well as the precision. We have both the standard and precision model. The particular model I'm going to be showing you today is our B2912A, which is the two-channel precision version. So I will shortly show you how quickly and easily we can do a simple pulse measurement on the diode shown here. So to set up a DC pulse measurement, I need to first of all get out of the two-channel viewing mode here and go to the more detailed single-channel view. Now in this view, I have to push on the more button. And the first thing I want to do is actually set up my pulse, so I want to make sure I'm in show pulse mode. Notice that the pulse is set to off, so obviously I need to turn the pulse on. The next thing I need to do is to set a peak value. Notice that in the upper right corner of the screen it's set to zero volts, so that's actually going to be my base, base value. I can, of course, set a base value other than zero. Uh, so in other words, I could have it set to a negative value or another positive value. It doesn't really matter, but that's going to be the value when I'm not pulsing. So let's go ahead and set up a peak pulse value of, oh, how about 2.8 volts. Then I can also set up a delay on my pulse, which I don't really need to do. Now since I actually want to visually look at the pulse going into this LED and see it, if I make it too fast, uh, we're not going to be able to see anything happening. So in this case, I'm actually going to set this up to be one second. And before I leave this screen, one more thing I actually want to do, which is go back up here and change my default uh, limit value from its default of 100 microamps, which isn't going to allow my diode to turn on. And I actually want to go in and change that to somewhere in the order of maybe 35 milliamps. That's a good value. So I basically set up the pulse here. The next thing I need to do is go in and set up my triggering. So initially it's in the auto mode, nothing showing up here. I want to actually go into manual setup. Then I can actually notice one very nice feature of this product is that you can set the source and measure timings independently, separately in other words. So what I'm going to do here is I want to ha set up a string of pulses. So I could set up thousands of these if I wanted to, but for now I'm just going to set to 100. I also want to measure on every single pulse that I'm doing. I wouldn't have to, but for this demo I want to do that. Next, I would go in here and set the delay. Now for the source, I don't want to have a delay. But for the measure, I want to make sure that I've had plenty of time for the pulse to settle before I measure it. And just to make it easy, I'm going to go ahead and set this to 0.5 seconds, which will put me right in the middle of my pulse. Now we set the period. Remember, I have a one second pulse, so I don't really want to have a period that's too fast. So in this case, I'm going to make a nice slow two second period. And also for the measuring, which again, notice I can set independently of my uh, sourcing, but I also want the measuring to have the same period. So I'm going to also set that to two seconds. Basically, that's all you really need to do. Uh, the pulsing is set up. All that remains is I have to turn the uh, channel on and hit the trigger button, and we could actually see the diode pulsing. We'll also see the measurement data displayed on the front panel. So to see our pulsed measurement demonstration, all I have to do is go ahead and push the on button for channel one and hit trigger. And as you can see, we're pulsing the diode very slowly and we're actually measuring, so we're doing our 2.8 volt pulse, and we're actually measuring about 12.1 uh, milliamps of current going through the diode. And it'll keep repeating this pulsing until it finishes doing all 100 pulses that we've programmed. And of course, I could do many more. I could do thousands or 10,000 pulses. So it's very simple to go ahead and set up and do a simple pulse measurement right on the front panel of the instrument. So really that's all there is to it. It's actually very simple to set up a pulse measurement from the front panel of the instrument and you can display the data and it's really not hard to do at all. So hopefully you've seen that this is a very powerful product and very easy to use. If you'd like to get more information on it, 
please go to the URL currently being shown on this video. Basically, it's www.agilent.com slash find slash B2900A. In addition, if you'd like to get more information on how to make parametric measurements in general or other parametric products that we have, we have a very nice 200 page plus parametric measurement handbook that you can download for free and you can get that at the URL currently being shown on this video. Again, my name is Alan Wadsworth and I thank you very much for your attention.